Good morning. I'm going to be running a tutorial here on creating PQ tables and charts. PQ is presentation quality. SPSS has the capacity of producing tables and charts, but I don't like how they look. Kind of dry, boring, not very good to look at. Excel does a much better job. So what I need to do is take my tables here that I created. In this case, our example is a gender variable from the MCIC data set, sex01. And we need to bring it into Excel. To do that, I'm going to right-click and choose Copy. And then I'm going to go over into Excel. And I apologize if this is a little small. I'm trying to work with the video resolution here. I'm just going to click on one of the open cells, and I'm going to paste this in. And let me see if I can just make this a little bigger for you. You can see here, this is the exact same table that we had. But we can actually click in the different cells. Um, if you're working with a frequency, your valid percents are not in full decimal form, so 59% as a decimal is normally 0.59. Instead, they have this as 0 .50, or 59.0. We'll have to change it when we're making our tables, but if you're working with a cross tab or something else, like a regression, these will already be in uh, a nice decimal form to convert to a percent. So we'll just have an extra step here while we're doing this. What I like to do is I like to take the information out of the table here that I need, so in this case, I'm going to type in male and female. And then I'll copy over the information that I want. I generally use copy and paste here so I don't lose any decimal point information. I'm just going to clear off any brackets that those had. And as I said before, these aren't in decimal point form. If you were to select them and hit the percent key, you'll notice that changes to blow this up here for you. This change is to about 4,059,000 or so. We don't like that, so I'm just going to push enter and divide by 100, and that'll reduce it back to 41% for me. I'll do the same thing here. Back to 59%. Up here I'm going to type in gender. That's what I'm measuring. And to make my chart, I'll just select this data. I'll go up to Insert, Column, 2D, just the regular 2D bar charts, all we need. No need to get extra fancy here. Sometimes the rule of thumb when making these is to keep it clear, uncluttered, and easy to read. The fancier the table, the more difficult it is to read. So there's all different ways to make a PQ chart and how to edit them. When we're making a column chart, you usually don't need the labels here unless you've got multiple different color columns. We just have one type here, so we're going to get rid of that. Get rid of these background lines here, and all I'm doing is I'm clicking on it and I'm pressing the delete key on the keyboard. I'm going to get rid of these percentages here. I'm going to click on the column. I'm going to right click on that, and I'm going to add data labels. And that's going to tack on the percentages that correspond to each one. I'm going to make these a little larger. I'm going to increase this up to a 12 font. That way, in case I decide to bring this into, say, uh, word processor like Microsoft Word, these will be a little easier to read. There we go. We're just about done making a nice clean chart. What I also like to do, I'm going to click and drag this up just a little bit so I have some extra room down here. Is I'm going to add in, go to insert, add in a text box. And down here on the bottom, I'm going to draw my little text box. And I'm going to do a right justify so it tucks into the corner there. Let's do n equals, and I'm looking up here for the total number. I'm going to match that. 36687. We had 36,687 respondents for this particular gender question. 59% were female, 41% were male. This n here is nice to know. That way it tells the reader you had 59% female of what? 10 people? 100 people? No. Over 36,000 people. So here we have ourselves a nice PQ bar chart. If you want to get extra fancy, you could remove this little tick, tick box by clicking down here. And you can't see it on this window, but the bottom option on that was Format Axis. This is the Format Axis window, and it says Major Tick Mark Type. You can say None, click Close, and that'll actually go away. There is a file called PQ Gallery in my Downloads section that shows all sorts of different type, types of charts and tables and how they would look. It's not going to tell you how to get them to look like that, but it's going to show you the finished product. 
So a little creativity and finagling, and you'll be able to do it. Let's pay attention over here and make this aren't we, a PQ table that we had. And first, I'm just going to merge this over so it looks nice. I'll make it bold. I'll throw a line under it. This is just pretty much making your data look pretty. Throw another line down here. I like to have my total in place. I know that it adds up to 100%. If you're not quite sure, change that into a percent. You can do a sum feature or add up all the different percentages that are in there. I'm also going to go ahead and put my N. There we go. A couple last housekeeping steps. I'm going to make sure that these are all in the same size font and the same type of font. I'm also going to use the paint bucket here and paint the background white. Doing that will remove these little blue lines that you see here. And now both this chart over here and this table are ready to be brought into Microsoft Word or whatever else you're using to write up your papers. If you click on the chart, you can just do a, a control C or copy and paste it in. I always recommend using the default size of the chart that you've made and then making it smaller in Word if you need to. Because if you make it too small in Excel and then bring it into Word and you try to make it larger, it might be a little grainy and distorted. And with the table over here, select your table, and depending on what type of, I'm sorry, what version of Excel you have, look for something called copy as picture. In 2007 version, it's located under paste picture to copy as picture. You can find it here. And just choose the default settings. These are fine. And then you can paste it in to Microsoft Word. Uh, if you just go ahead and do this way with a control and then paste, you're going to paste it as a table, not as a picture. Pictures are easier to manipulate, making them larger and smaller, putting things like wrap text so your words flow around the image. Uh, tables are a little more difficult to work with, so I definitely recommend copy as picture. And that covers it.